Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two to my vintage pencil collection organization, and these are the loose pencils. So here there are no boxes. I didn't get these from any boxes of pencils, but these are the loose ones, and I wanted to go over the categories that I made. Um, this is, once again, um, I've had this happen many times. The transfer failed when I was doing it on my phone, because doing it on my phone is not as safe, because I'll lose the video. But at least with this one, I didn't lose all the footage of me sorting the rest of these, like these boxes, so I could do this one over again. But I, I, it's been a while since I've done the first one, so I'm going to kind of go over. And the one thing that I'm not looking forward to is doing the description, because I write all the categories in the description. Um, I probably will do that this time, I'm not completely sure, but anyway, getting on with it. Um, I organized all the loose pencils, and like I said in the last one, although, even though you guys will never see it, but in the last one I said I forgot that I didn't show myself organizing these, or like a midway point, like a halfway point. I never showed that, so... Um, I really can't show it now because it's been a while since I did that other video, but, um, this is, in my opinion, one of the more important videos because these are all, this is like my private collection because these are just boxes of pencils that are pretty much the same, but these are like the single ones that I really love and that I've had for years, so this is more of my private collection, so, and these are loose ones, so... Aside from these vintage markers, mostly markers, there's some pens in there, but those are pretty much side things, but those are going to go in my vintage uh, stationery section, which is basically a vintage pencil section, but it's the same thing, I guess I would consider it. Uh, I just put them where they were before, pretty much. I got rid of this long container, because it really doesn't fit anywhere, and I could use it for other things. So, I just mixed the vintage pencils that were in there into here. Um, so, that's why these are here. They, you didn't, before they weren't here, but, yeah, so. Anyway, um, we have this box here. I'm not going to touch it, because I got it. I got it positioned so you guys can see it, um, and luckily I don't have to do a thumbnail for this video because I already did the thumbnail, and it's saved, so, uh, here we have a bunch of eagle pencils, there are some drawing pencils in there, there's, um, eagle very thins, a lot of eagle very thins, and then these, these ones right here, those are actually Elmer's pencils, and I was gonna do a video on them a little while ago, and I forgot, so maybe that will be one of my upcoming videos, you never know. Um, but then we also got a lot of eagle very thins, and we even got a couple eagle, uh, color-offs in there. If I can get one out and show you. Here they are, yeah, eagle very thin color-offs. And they have the red ones on brand name pencils, but these are the blue ones. And they have a ferrule and eraser, which the eraser is completely gone on those. Pretty much all these pencils, the erasers are almost gone. Some of them are completely fine, but yeah. These are actually a pretty rare pencil, so yeah. And then some drawing pencils and Elmer's brand pencils. You never, like Elmer's is usually like, see that glue right there? Right there, Elmer's. It's Elmer's glue, and that's what you usually see. But this is Elmer's brand colored pencils. So, um, and I actually can think of a pretty couple pretty cool titles for it, too. Anyway, moving on from that, we have, these are my favorited pencils. So, these are the pencils that I like the most out of my collection. Vintage pencil collection, collection, sorry. I have trouble with saying words like that, um... So, like, we have a very old Mongol here. We have a round Mongol, a round Mongol 480, which is, I never, ha I don't have, that's the only pencil I have of those. And then we have a few older, nice, really nice condition, actually. One of them's even unsharpened right there. Uh, Everybody's favorite Mongol. And then we have some long ferrule pencils. We have, like, this weird old ebony Mongol, Typhonite, and this, uh, uh, 
Eberhard Faber Van Dyke 601, which I got, and they actually don't have that on brand name pencils anymore. Uh, and I've sharpened it, which I kind of regret doing. It's a really nice pencil. Um, so, yeah. And then some long ferrule pencils. I don't know if I said that. I love this old Dixon Ticonderoga. It's from, like, the 40s, I would say. And it has this awesome-looking ferrule. And, yeah. Um, and then Fila uh, a brand pencil, which kind of looks like the Ticonderoga Black, except it doesn't have an eraser. So that was really odd and cool. There was another Fila brand pencil that was pretty cool, but I didn't really like it as much as that one, and it wasn't as, like, interesting, so. And then here we have the Jumbo pencils. Um, we have, like, Dixon Beginners, uh, Ticonderoga Laddie. Um, we have uh, Tri-Rex General Sketching uh, Carpenter's pencils, General's Big Bear. Um, yeah, just a bunch of those. Um, and then we also have Oddball little pack number one. Uh, you know what? I guess I don't have to say them in the description. I did before, but I kind of changed my mind. I'm going to say them in the video. So I really, if you guys watch the video, that's all I really care about. I feel like last time I just like made a just big description and it's getting close to my dinner time for me. So I'm going to try to not do it so long and inter interfere with that uh, personal family stuff. But anyway, uh, this is a little oddball pack number one, and then oddball pack number two, and this is the real biggest one that I have for oddballs. Here's that Fila pencil, this one right here. Uh, oddball pack number three. It's still an interesting pencil, though. And then we have Dixon. Dix <laughs> There's only three in there. They're all the same. But I had other Dixon pencils. Most of them are these Dixon Ticonderogas and a bunch of these yellow, just yellow brand pencils for kids are a lot of Dixon, too. Um, and then we have another oddball pack. These are, most of these are from the, from my, uh, trip to Montreal, Canada, and thrift stores. And then we have this, which is a little packet, well, not packet, but it's like a rubber banded, uh, Stadler Norris pencils, the vintage ones that I have. I only have three. Uh, I thought I had more for some reason, but they're probably... I always lose things, and I'm probably, I probably, I hope, at least, that they're um, in this house, and I didn't leave them in the, in the old house, so I just hope, that's what I wonder, that's what I'm thinking for now, because I don't want to jinx myself or something, but, yeah, so, yeah, I feel like I had more for some reason, I swear I did. Because I got this lot on eBay, and I had a bunch of Norris pencils in it. I only have two here. But, well, I might have left them, but anyway. So we got two Norris pencils, and then this Norris handwriting jumbo pencil, which I've never seen. It's from, like, the 90s or early 2000s. I can't figure which. And it's really cool. I like that pencil. And then we have Generals, A.W. Faber or Faber-Castell. We have this big pack, which has a bunch of uh, pretty much yellow pencils and basic ones. Uh, this one's a, uh, this one here is a Papermate American Naturals, uh, which I got in a pencil lot. And then we have, these are all, most of these are from a pencil lot that I got years ago for only for $10, and there were a lot of pencils in it. Uh, now, nowadays, you can't find lots that good, so... That was where a lot of my collection came from, actually. So we have a bunch of those. And then my Dixon Ticonderogas. I took the uh, WW um, World War II era one out of this. So there's even a, a Ticonderoga mechanical pencil, see, right there. And then we have Venus Velvet of different brands. So there's like Eberhard Faber, there's Venus. Um, there might be Faber-Castell in here, probably. Um, and then we have my red and blue, or red and black pencils, I guess you could say. Because there's a black one in there, black and red. So, this one is actually, it's, it wasn't, I don't know if it's actually vintage or not. Um, it looks vintage, so I put it with the vintage ones. And then Stadler Tradition pencils. This isn't really, it's shorthand, it's not really a tradition, but... It's in that same color range, and it, well, 
as the body at least. And it's nice pink and it's not a colored pencil, so it's just a regular drawing pencil. And then we have my little pack of eagle pencils. I just put that in there as a placeholder for my eagle spot in my collection because I have a bunch of eagle pencils there. And I recently got a lot with a bunch in here. Um, actually, I never did a second video on my unboxing, eagle pencil unboxing. But I guess that's okay. I'll probably do one in the future. Vintage pencil unboxing. Which I'm... There's more coming up. There's a, uh... It's a bunch of pencils. It's like a 72 pack of pencils. And they're all vintage. But it's like one type of pencil. But it's a pack of 72. So... Sorry, that was kind of long. But... Yeah. Um... So I have more eagle pencils throughout my collection. Uh, so these are just eagle Verathan, eagle Prismacolor. And then we have Lyra. Uh, it's a pencil a brand that I really haven't explored much, especially in their vintage pencil range. I've gotten in a, I've gotten some in a few different uh, vintage pencil lots. They seem to be from like G G Germany or something like that. Uh, but we have some copying pencils and some drawing ones here. And then we have the W, I always say WW2, I don't like saying that anymore. It sounds kind of low class, but anyway, these are my World War II era pencils. I don't have very many of those, so I like to cherish them and keep them in pretty nice shape. So these are in pretty nice shape. Uh, funny enough, this Ticonderoga one I actually got at the thrift store, which was an amazing, amazing find, amazing score. And I actually got that along with a lot of these two Mongol pencils here. Um, I think even... Well, no. But these two pencils here I got in that same lot too. So I got a really amazing score there. But And then these are my uh, Stadler blue pencils. I just put it because it's like... They're all blue colored. And they're all Stadler. So they pretty much go in the same category. But they're all... They're pretty much... A lot of them are Mars Lumograph. But some of them are, like, different, so. Uh, yeah, and we even have a copying pencil in there, which is actually pretty dangerous. Um, it's really dangerous. Uh, you can't touch it with your own skin, so I really never use that pencil at all. And then just more. Uh, some Steno pencils and some, uh, regular HB Graphite ones. And then we, I found this lollipop in that box there, so. Awesome. And then, these are my General's Pastel Chalk Pencils. I got all of these at a thrift store. So they're in really bad shape, but yeah, still. Chalk Pencils from General's. And I, um, I did uh, a pencil jar video, which I always keep my pencil jar up here, which I've been saying that I might want to remove this bowl, because uh, those... Proof coins I already did a video on, and they're still sitting there. But I might need to get a second cup, because that one's getting full, and those are all modern. So, I don't keep... Maybe, I feel like I'm, what I should do is get a cup for these, these modern ones. And, sorry, I just stuttered really badly, but... um, What I was saying was you can get, like... I can get, like, a jar for the modern ones, like, I have that, and then I can get one for my favorite vintage ones, like, I can put these in there, maybe? I don't know, I kind of like to keep them with these. Oh, this just closed, but, um, yeah, so, I just organized these, and I'm gonna go down and kind of show my family, because I, whenever I get something done or organize something that I really like in my room, I always want to show my family, so... Uh, guys, my fam- mom, if you're watching, she's probably the only one in this house wa gonna who's gonna watch this, but I'm probably gonna show you guys how- what I did here. Unless you watch the video, so, um, if not, I'm just gonna show, um, the rest of my family. Like, my grandma, she always, uh, is interested in what I have done with all my collections. Um... Uh, dad might be interested. My dad, my sister, probably not. Chris, my little brother, he's like two and a half. Uh, he would, the only, the only thing he would probably do with these is just play with them and break them. So I'm probably not going to let him have those, but I'm just going to show him kind of what's here. So, and I'm going to put them all back in this bag too. So, um, this video was a little bit longer because I deleted the other two videos and I kind of want to make it longer um, so I added some footage, which is nice, 
Um, I'm probably not going to make it as long because it's only like 15 minutes right now. So I'm not going to make it like 22 minutes like the last video. But yeah, I had I had a lot of fun searching through this, definitely. Um, well, and it's not like I haven't searched through it before. I'm just organizing these into little rubber bands. And like I've expected, probably, I mean, I don't know for sure. I can't predict the future, but um, I feel like in the very, very near future, I probably, these probably won't continue to be in their rubber bands. Um, when I, probably when I get older, I might change the system of these. Like, I won't put them in rubber bands anymore, or I will, and I'll put them, each one in its own little spot in a container, maybe. So these probably won't stay like this. But for now, it's a way to organize it, and I have a lot of containers. Um, I have, like, like basically, like, two f out of these drawers, I have two full containers of empty containers, so. And I have some down there, and all that stuff, so. Yeah, I have a lot more. Um, and I could even keep them in this big computer bag, uh, which my dad gave to me a while ago, actually. But anyway, I'll stop rambling and end this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm just warning you, I hope you guys still enjoy the video as much as um, my other videos or my uh, other vintage pencil video uh, last one. But um, I'm not going to do a long description like of mentioning every category because that's even long. If I mentioned every pencil, that would be take hours. But if I mention the categories, it would take like half that time. But I still, I, I added a lot of time extra to this, like literally like nine minutes extra to this video. Ten, ten minutes, basically. So, yeah, it just hit 17 minutes and the other one was like seven minutes. So anyway, see you guys.